I awoke to the pain of a new existence, in a dank womb of darkness and decay. Hello everybody, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Blood Omen Legacy of Cain, and indeed, we, uh, <laughs> we are graced with a new existence of some kind. Whether or not, uh, this ends up working out in our favor, I guess we'll find out. For now, though, we'll go ahead and push that switch and uh, move on here and grab our first spell. The Sanctuary spell enables me to travel to my crypt where the soil of my grave provides me respite. I often resort to this when I am weak and need nourishment. Yeah, what's interesting about uh, this game is the, uh, the story seems to be told in a sort of past tense, as if uh, Cain were relaying... The, the events of his uh, of his past uh, exploits to us, even as we're playing the game. It's an interesting take on things. And here we go. We can see a little bit of uh, a little block pushing to do here. Reputed to have been ripped from the chest of the greatest vampire to have ever existed, Janos Audrin, the heart of darkness restores vampiric unlife. Life is precious, Janos discovered, as it was torn, throbbing, and bleeding from his own body. <laughs> yeah, kane has got a lot to say. I think that's that's uh, something I'm definitely okay with. It's voiced by uh, Simon Templeman, I think his name is. And he's, uh, he's a very, very accomplished voice actor. Go ahead and push this, and then you can see we've got a uh, power up here. This ancient vial bears with it a dark gift indeed, for with it, my life force is increased. Alright, so we want to keep an eye out for those. And yeah, we're a vampire, so we're gonna, we're gonna suck some blood, as we are wont to do. And uh, I guess we'll go over here as well. Ah, uh, yeah, and then we have this. These ancient symbols of power contain raw magical energy that increases my own capacity to summon energy for the spawning of spells. All right, spawning spells is something that we will do at some point, I'm sure, but not right this second. I'm gonna be careful of these skeleton guys because they do explode if they touch you. And here we've got um, something that's gonna actually refill that magic that we just pick picked up. As you can see in the bottom right there, there's a little, little teeny blue pip. <laughs> but um, yeah, eventually I'm gonna gonna run out of uh, knowledge about what's going on here. Within the walls of these chambers, I could find respite, and if I so chose, resume my journey when my weariness abated. In other words, you can save here. Um, but yeah, I haven't um, played maybe like a half an hour, something like that. Um, while I was gathering footage for uh, the previous episode, which you should go back and watch because it does set up the, uh, the rest of the playthrough as far as my experience with the game and the uh, the intro sort of uh, cinematic and all that kind of stuff. But uh, at any rate, let's see if we can get out of this uh, crypt here and into the wide open world. The world had changed to my eyes. I had not expected such cruelty from the light, for in the embrace of the sun I could find no comfort, only malice. This would change in time for the worse, along with other things. When rainfall comes, vampires are wise to find shelter from its acidic touch. Yeah, as you can see that we just took a little bit of damage with that puff of smoke. So uh, when it's raining, we probably want to limit our outdoor time. There's a couple power-ups out here, but we don't have any way to get to them right now. So we will have to move on. And a very generous <laughs> additional save point here, I guess. Sure, sign me up. Interesting thing here as well is that, um... You can see, uh... The four days and twenty hours there. <laughs> four twenty, um... He's, uh, he's apparently been in hell or wherever he was for a few days, um, and or living out of this crypt for a few days. Uh, at least that's my take on, on what that means. Now, why the hell there are a bunch of green skeletons that bleed green blood and explode when they touch you, not killing these guys who I assume are like caretakers, 
Uh, you know why? Why these guys are all working in tandem with one another? I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe we'll find out. Yeah, there we go. Got him. Also, why there are a bunch of spikes down here? Again, I do not know. <laughs> it seems like a like a pretty significant work hazard, but uh, that's okay, I guess. There we go. We got, we got a couple power ups already. Got to be careful. Get this guy quick. Excellent. Yeah, I don't think uh, we can suck blood from <laughs> more than one. Uh, person at a time here. Although maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll get a power-up that allows us to do that in the future. That would be kind of cool. There we go. So far, the uh, the puzzles have been pretty straightforward, if you even want to call them puzzles, but I think coming up here, we got something that'll be very slightly more complicated. Ah, yes, this one. So we have to hit these switches um, so they are pushed in a certain pattern, and I think it's Trying to remember, I think it's this one and this one. Yeah, there we go. Not too bad. Oh, didn't even see that guy initially. All right. These curious devices hurl bolts of whirling energy and eviscerate my human enemies by stripping ragged flesh from blood-stained bone. That's awfully grim, my man. Um, yeah. So we've got. This menu here, so this is a healing item, basically, and then we've got this thing that we can equip as well, so we'll, uh, we'll keep that in mind and we'll try to use it at a uh, appropriate time. I don't know that these things respawn, uh, so we may want to use them somewhat judiciously. Here we go. Oh, we've got another, uh, another heart here. That's pretty good. Uh, and then I think, actually, also, we've got... Here we can equip our magic as well, and uh, we can enter the menus and kind of tweak what's on those. Uh, I guess you I guess you can call them hot bars of sorts, uh, but we don't need to worry about that right this second. There we go. There's another one actually. That's pretty good. All right. Oh, you juke me. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. It definitely looks like there should be some kind of secret here, and there probably is. But we can't move these boulders. They're too heavy for us right now. It's explained in the manual that uh, kind of the, the power-ups that you'll generally get o over the playthrough, and uh, the ability to move heavier rocks is one of those powers. So for now, we will simply have to uh, take these. And I, you can see there's a door right here, too. I'm wondering if that's what'll open if we dick around with those rocks eventually. So we'll have to remember that it's there, but yeah, we'll just take these chests for now. Another healing item. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright. Looks like we're on our way out here. Or maybe not. <laughs> Another one of those big rocks. But to what end? What purpose would such a rock have? It almost looks like... Hang on, can I go back through here? No, the door is shut. Interesting. So maybe that's what that rock is for. So we can actually get back in. I suppose we may as well take the opportunity to save. The save points have been pretty... Uh, pretty frequent thus far. But... Uh, I don't think that'll continue to be the case. Also, I, I do wonder if we, like, get a full HP and MP recharge when we hit up one of the one of those things, or if, um, we'll have to resort to other means to, uh, to, to make that happen. I guess I'm gonna look around here real quick. Even though it is raining, and rain doesn't do that much damage. And we should have plenty of opportunity to... Hunger and weakness are no bar to vengeance's call. I would find my slayers and send them back whence I came. As I was saying, we should get an opportunity to heal ourselves. Yeah, right about here. And uh, I do like that he's sending uh, his slayers back to whence he came. What trickery is this? 
I'm also a surprise to even recognize him. Amateur, if we put you down once, we could do it again. Their sneering faces were forever etched upon my memory. I had crossed death for this moment. My mind was empty save for one thought. I would kill. There is no greater release than that from vengeance sated. With my assassins dead, my quest was over. All right, well, game's over, guys. I'll see you in the next series. I don't get to uh, make that joke two videos in a row very often. <laughs> but just for fun, we'll uh, keep walking to the right here, I guess. There's still a few of these guys around. Tis not over, Cain. These fools were merely the instruments of your murder, not the cause. Look to their masters, look to the pillars, and gain way to the fortress of the mind. That's a bit cryptic. I believe that was Mortanius, hollering at us through the void or <laughs> something like that. Uh, he's voiced by Tony Jay, who I believe is unfortunately now deceased, but he's uh, got some other roles in the other... Uh, Legacy of Kane games as well, or at least one particular role, I should say. This was where the bloody deed of my murder took place. I would not be kind to the denizens that lurk here. They would taste my steel, and I their blood. Interesting thing to note is the PlayStation version actually doesn't have that little extra bit. It just says, this is the place where I got killed. Um, and uh, in this one, he's, uh, he's a little bit more fired up. Just a bit. <laughs> so it's interesting to uh interesting to note. Let's go ahead and murder some people in their bed, shall we? <laughs> You're dead. And you have disappeared. Just pulled a Yoda <laughs> or something. Nice. I think there's a reason that they give you one of those here, and we'll see what it is in just a moment. Bro, you do recall the man who refused to, uh, who refused to serve us a drink, don't you? Well, my friend, that was a terrible mistake. <laughs> Good times. Was that uh, possibly an entire waste of one of those discs? Uh, only, uh, literally, but uh, at the same time, extremely satisfying. Looks like people haven't woken up quite yet. You can see there's actually a sundial in the bottom uh, bottom right there, which shows us what time it is. Interestingly enough, we're actually more powerful during the night um, and weaker during the day. And yeah, that's right. Kane is a daywalker. He doesn't give a shit about the sun, except for the aforementioned uh, slight uh, weakness during said day, which I don't know if we'll ever overcome, honestly. But it's going to be getting to be about morning here, I think. I don't think we can go in these buildings at all. I don't know if there's any, like, hidden uh, hidden passages or anything to get in here. So I guess we'll just have to move on. Yep, now it's daytime. Have at thee! I think these guys will still die in, I don't know, four hits now, yeah. So it does make a difference. I think we are killing them in three hits uh, when it was nighttime. The necromancer had offered me no warning as to what my resurrection would entail, and yet I must confess in my haste I had not sought one. Was his gift a curse? I would seek the pillars for an answer. Sounds like a plan, my dude. And this is just the same sign from the other direction, so we don't need to worry about that. Yeah, you can, um... You just hold down the attack button, you... You do uh, swing automatically, but you can do like a little bit of a a little bit of a, a, a combo if you tap the button a few times. All right, take care of these gentlemen here. Accidentally killed that guy. I was gonna get a heal off of him, but that's all right. We'll do it with this guy, I think. As you can see, yeah, the AI, not exactly necessarily the smartest that I've, uh, I've ever seen. 
but uh, that's okay. We'll, we'll work that uh, to our advantage. Oh, careful. Yeah, these guys... These guys like to throw shit at people. Alright. Oh, another guy throwing knives. That's okay. I actually wonder if I... Uh, almost thought maybe I smacked one of those knives out of the air with my sword there. Probably not. But, uh, it sort of looked like it. I guess we could try it here. Oh, never mind. I'm just gonna come over here, huh? If I could actually hit him, I don't know. <laughs> Little buggy there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was a little odd. Never seen that before. Anybody else? Oh, we have a challenger. Excellent. Bleh. Oh, more. As daylight chases darkness, the vampire's power wanes. Ah, yeah. So that's Kane telling uh, telling us what I just said, which is, you do get weaker during the day. Pillars of Nosgoth. Even in life, few sights have moved me such as this. I marvel that such beauty should grace our dying world. Indeed, the Pillars of Nosgoth are very important uh, and central to, uh, really, I think, all of the... Well, I don't know about all of the Legacy of King games. It's been a while since i played, but certainly, um... Certainly Soul Reaver. As I recall. Not sure about Blood Omen 2, though, specifically. What is this? Nopraptor, your madness has shattered our dreams and blinded you. Keep your distance, or I'll send you back to hell, spirit! There is nothing left of me to fear, vampire. I'm only a shadow of my former self. Ari, the balance of the Circle of Nine. Even so, I can provide the answers you seek. I seek only a cure. There is no cure for death, only release. You must destroy the sorcery, the sorcery that is now poisoning Nosgoth. Only then will you realize peace. The Nine of the Protectors of Hope were sworn to use their powers to preserve our world. Now these pillars have been corrupted by a traitor. My murder at the hands of this beast drove my love Napraptor mad. Now he spreads misery and pain among the circle, crumbling the very foundation of Nosgoth. You must restore balance. You must right the pillars of Nosgoth. I care not for the fate of this world. Then for yourself, Cain. Beware. The unspoken. Not Raptor, with his blind act of vengeance, threatened to destroy all of Nosgoth. Each circle member was bonded to the pillar he served. The pillars reflected the mental state of their servants, and as the minds of the circle degenerated and descended farther into dementia, the pillars crumbled. To restore them, each member of the circle had to die, and the artifact that served as their link to the pillar had to be returned. Only when all the pillars were restored did Ariel claim my curse would end. And so, my hunt for Nupraptor began. What a name, Nupraptor. So yeah, you can uh, kind of get a sense that Cain was maybe not the greatest guy in life, because he certainly doesn't seem to be in death. The Pillar of the Mind, protected by the Mentalist Nupraptor. Uh, yeah, another interesting thing is you get a little bit more info about these pillars. Uh, in the PlayStation version, he just says Pillars of the Mind. Um, but in this one, he says who uh, is linked to the pillar as well. The Pillar of Dimension, protected by the Planar Azimuth. And this is basically as far as I've played, ex excepting the, uh, the very beginning of the next screen. The Pillar of Conflict. Protected by the Paladin Malik. 
So, uh, basically, uh... I'm not gonna know if the dialogue is different in, in any of these, these upcoming places, <laughs> uh, in the future. The Pillar of Nature, protected by the Druid Bane. That's quite the name for a Druid. Also, Malak. Um, I think Malak was the guy in the, um... In the intro cinematic, was he not? The, the guy with the glaive? Who then got turned into a like a shadow warrior or something by uh, uh, Mortanius. The pillar of balance once defended by Ariel. The pillars choose their own. And indeed, there is what's left of Ariel right there. The pillar of see. energy, protected by the energist de Jewel. We didn't see who killed Ariel, so um, that is a mystery we will have to solve. The pillar of time. Protected by the time streamer Mobius. All right. The Pillar of States, protected by the alchemist Anacroth. That's a pretty sweet picture he's got. The Pillar of Death, protected by the necromancer Mortanius. Ah, and there is our <laughs> patron, I guess, if you want to call it that. <laughs> but uh, at any rate, that's uh, all the info about the pillars, I think. Let's move on, shall we? I don't think there's anything else here that we can uh, really mess with right now. Unless we can talk to Ariel somehow. I'm tempted to take a swing at her, but... Nope, she's just gonna hang out, do ghost stuff, that's fine. Let's, uh, let's go through this other teleporter. Yeah, unfortunately, Kane does not have a run button, but we may find a way to solve that in time. In bat form, I can travel great distances with ease. From my vantage in the heavens, no region of Nosgoth is forbidden to me. Ah, so we got fast travel. These beacons serve as landmarks during my flights in bat form. Once I have committed their locations to memory, I can always return. And there you go. All right. So with that, let's go ahead and um, we're going to go back to the mausoleum now that we can return here whenever we so choose. Just like so. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and save the game. But uh, on the way, you can see it's very hard to see. But you see that guy there? A ghost trying to kill us. The ghost of someone we already killed here. And you can, see, you can see there his blood was blue. Um, ghosts, uh, I, th I think as I recall from the manual, uh, when they hit you, they drain your magic meter, not your health bar. And uh, when you suck their blood, you get magic back. So I imagine that will become uh, pretty important to remember at some point in the future. She's actually still alive. This person is not. Very interesting. But, uh, at any rate... Oh, I... Even the skeletons get ghosts. <laughs> uh... At any rate... I think we've, uh... We've got a fair bit of traveling to do in order to find, uh, Nup Raptor's... Uh, domain. I guess if you want to call it that. I'm not really sure where it is, but we'll find out soon. See you next time.